I want to do a quick video on GitHub and I'm going to try to do everything that you need to know about uh, basically source control and how to um, kind of use it. So um, the most important thing is kind of creating a code repository and then actually uploading code, uh, syncing up code, uh, committing code and pushing code up to GitHub. So I'm going to go over all of these things here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, sign into my github account um, so you should sign up for an account and experiment with it uh, but I already have an account and it's just simply code cowboy org so I'm gonna sign in and this is my account and you'll notice I have already three repositories here in the repository um, if, if I go to the repositories just by clicking on it, you'll see I have a bunch of code here that I've uploaded, source, and so those are the code files. So how do I get those code files up there? Well, um, I personally use a GUI. I, I don't use the command line just because it's a lot easier to do diffs and all of that. So uh, the, let's see, let me go to the website. So the GUI that I use is called Source Tree from Alatsian, which uh, is the same makers of Jira, which is a uh, bug tracking slash agile uh, type of uh, tool used uh, for the agile process. So I've downloaded that and let me install it. So again, the first thing to do is to sign up for a GitHub account and I download Source Tree here under Alatsian so here's the URL uh, but just search for source tree Alatsian so let me install the software called source tree and I'm just gonna use all the defaults and while that's installing I'm gonna create a root here called git root which is where I'm going to have all my github stuff so um, git not found okay so I'm going to download an embedded version of git put this up here so while that's downloading I'm actually gonna create a repository in my git account so I have here I'm just gonna click on new repository and I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, selenium stuff so I'm just gonna name it selenium test examples so basic selenium test examples in n unit and ms test and you have to make it public uh, otherwise you have to pay money for it um, so I really only have access to the public repositories so simply I'm gonna say it's C sharp and I'm gonna pick the MIT license which is basically um, you could do whatever you want with the code except um, attribute it to uh, the originator of it so I'm gonna create the repository and you'll see it created a couple of files the license file a readme file um, and here this area is very important you'll actually need this URL here to sync up with the um, git when you when you're in source tree so right here it's prompting me for my git account configure so that's fine I'm gonna click next ok 
okay I don't want mercurial so I'm just gonna click I don't want that now I'm gonna go cowboy Next, I have to choose open SSH, which is what's compatible with Git. And I'm going to put in my account information here. Now this is git, I mean this is source tree here. So if you remember just a while ago, I actually created a new repository. And I'm gonna copy this URL, which is the URL that allows me to sync up with that repository. So before I do that, I created a git root here. And I'm just gonna mimic what I have up in Git. So I'm going to call this Selenium. Um, what did I call it? Test examples. So I'm going to say new clone in source tree. Paste the URL that I got from here. So I pasted it here. And I'm going to pick my directory which is git selenium examples and I actually this is uh, my personal preference that I do for all of my repositories where I I have it mirroring I, I create a folder called git root and I have it mirroring the git repository that I have up on the web And I'm just going to click clone here. So if you look, now I have a clone of the repository. So that is my local repository. And I'm going to work with this repository uh, pretty much uh, locally until I actually push it back push my changes back up so that's the lingo here even when I do a commit it's local um, and the reason for that is I, I want to keep on committing my code to my local repository until I'm ready to push up all the changes to the uh, web uh, to the main repository up on the web so that what that allows me to do is keep on checking my stuff in to my local repository and actually putting comments in there without fear of messing anybody else up uh, because typically uh, what happens when you're working with a bunch of people is that you tend to not check in your work or commit your work because you're afraid to mess them up so you, you'll be creating a lot of code and not really putting in comments until you've strung along so much code that you know the comments themselves are kind of worthless because if, if you change you know a hundred things and just put one comment you're really just putting a very general comment so I, I created a folder here called source and all of those selenium examples that I've been doing I'm gonna copy the code in there so what I what I plan on doing is having a folder called source and then a folder called docs and I'm gonna copy the code that I want up here so that's gonna be my working copy so you'll, you'll notice source tree just updated and let me expand this with all of the code changes that I made. So imagine I, uh, let me bring this up here. So imagine I'm working and doing a bunch of code and uh, this is the root 
location where I'm putting my projects. So I'm going to bring this up in Visual Studio. And I'm coding these files and that's where I'm placing them. I'm even doing builds here. And here's the changes that I've made and this is my working copy. So if, if I wanted to actually commit these changes, I'm going to highlight all of this. And I, I could either drag it up to the staging area. You, you see here it says working copy changes. And what's nice about this is before when I pick C sharp, it actually ignores all my bin folders and um, kind of the, the other uh, object folders that I had so it really is only considering these folders so I'm gonna select all of this because it's an initial write drag it into my staging area and I'm gonna commit this to my local repository so my message is initial write and I'm gonna click commit here and all of that is committed in my local repository now if, if I wanted to push the changes up so for example actually let me go edit something here so I'm gonna put a comment here that says Constructor. And yet you'll see the change is reflected here. And if I do a diff, you'll see it highlighted this change here in green. So I, I could say I could also stage that by just dragging it up and committing this here so I could say commit and add it comment again all this is still local so you see here there's a count of I made two commits and they're both local um, and it's not until I push the changes up that you'll see this in github so right now I'm gonna say okay to pushing it up and it prompts me for authentication so I'm gonna put in my credentials and it's gonna push up my changes and you'll, you'll see that's the command line stuff that it's executing um, I'm kind of used to doing it with a GUI now so so that just finished and if I go up to the repository sometimes it takes a while to reflect the changes like maybe a couple of minutes but you'll see that uh, when I hit refresh here there's a folder here called source which is the folder I kinda created here whoops not here here under my git root to mirror this so this is what I have mirrored and you'll see the folders that I have so that's my code files here and if I go back to my repositories you'll see the Selenium examples that I have so there you go that's that's really basically eighty percent of what you'll be using uh, on github is uh, you know getting the code doing the commits and uh, pushing the changes up and 
uh, I find this IDE the most comfortable to use and the easiest to use so alright thank you for watching